All right, we're going to talk about five things I hate about the Honda Grom, and these are in no particular order. Do you guys know the Honda Grom gets 130 miles a gallon? Oh, this is about negatives, that's right. This is about things I hate. So the number one thing I hate is kind of obvious, but it's, uh, it's how slow it is. I mean, it's a slow bike. It's not intended to be a fast bike, I know that, but... The gears are really small. Like, when you're in third gear, you're still going like 35 miles an hour, but it felt like you worked so hard to get there. And that is definitely one of the things I hate, but there's also a love-hate with that because it's so much fun. But it's a slow bike. It's not going to keep up with a normal motorcycle. It's not going to keep up with a car for the most part. But if you know how to ride, I guess you could say, um, you're not going to have a problem with that. And that's what I found is, yes, it's slow, but if you know how to use that throttle and, you know, ring out that motor, you're going to have a good time and it's going to be fast enough. Okay, I know I just said that the Grom can't keep up with the car, but I should probably reiterate what I was trying to say with this clip and show you that it totally can keep up with the car as I am tucked going down a hill right here, full throttle, mind you, but I am hitting 70 miles an hour, and that is more than enough for regular road speeds. I don't know what regular roads are 70 miles an hour. There aren't any, so obviously I am speeding a little here, and I need to slow down, but I'm on a Grom. Don't you guys get too excited now. And this is a stock ROM. All I have is the Amazon exhaust, which I don't really consider to be a performance modification. In fact, it's a decrease in performance because the stock exhaust has more torque. All right, the number two thing I'm not too fond of, guys, is the storage situation on the Grom. There is not really anywhere to store something, whether you want to go to the store and get groceries or whether you want to get saddlebags. I mean, I guess you could put saddlebags, but you have to get an aftermarket um, rear end rack here if you want and which I'm gonna do if you want to put stuff on the back But other than that you're pretty much stuck with getting a backpack and that's fine. There's hardly any storage under the seat here um, As you as you can see here like we have storage for just the registration thing they had a toolkit in the um, Not in America, but in other countries they actually provide a toolkit under the seat here, which is pretty cool But we don't get that in the USA um, but yeah, you can't really store anything under here, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, so yeah, just not having any storage really kind of sucks. So that's number two. Man, you really got to get low to shoot these Honda Grom videos. So number three, guys, if you guys can't guess by the uh, image here, is the tire size. Now, I think these are 12-inch tires or wheels. And if you want to do any sort of off-roading or you want to get any over any major obstacles, not major, but you know what I mean, like bigger obstacles, which you should be able to on this bike, it's kind of hard. On the ground because of the 12 inch wheel as opposed to you know riding a mountain bike or something like that where you got the 29 inch tire um, so with the small diameter tire it makes it difficult for off-roading but you can still do it with the knobbies it does happen but this is essentially a scooter tire you know so you can't really expect to go over things like a dirt bike would or like I said a 29 inch tired mountain bike would So I guess that leads me to the fourth thing I hate about the Honda Grom is, we're looking at it right here with the tires, is the suspension. The suspension is pretty bad. Um, I couldn't imagine weighing, you know, 200 or 250 pounds um, trying to, like, you know, do things on this Grom where you're pushing that suspension pretty hard. And I'll just give you a little demonstration of how, how it is. I mean, it's, it is what it is, you know? 
it's like a decent front fork, but you put any sort of like big pressure on it and it's just not going to, oh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> What's wrong with my kickstand? That's weird. Must be all wet. Um, and the rear shock is no different. The rear shock is okay, and I guess you can upgrade to an O-Lens or something like that in the future, but the suspension just isn't the best. Yeah, so I was really doing some thinking there for a while, guys, about the number five, fifth thing I hate about the Honda Grom, and I can't think of anything. I really can't. The fifth thing I hate is how awesome it is. It's literally the coolest bike you can get. As far as I'm concerned, that's why I started this channel. And it's the most fun you can have for the money you spend. And I think a lot of other people out here can agree. And if you don't have a Grom or haven't ridden one, you got to give it a try before you judge it. You know, a lot of people look at it like, oh, it's just a toy. It's just, yeah, it is a toy, but so is a full-size motorcycle. That is a toy, too. If you want practicality, get a car. Okay, motorcycles are for fun, for enjoyment, for pleasure. You don't need a, ri a reason to go ride. You know, if it's your only form of transportation, yes, then your argument is fair about how there might be a better choice. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the king of fun. I know TFL Bike has said that. I know other YouTubers have said that, and I am on the same boat. It's the most fun you can have for the money, and you're, you're gonna. I mean, my girlfriend, she never rode motorcycles her entire life. And she hopped on my Grom, learned how to ride, and then got introduced to the whole world of motorcycling and bought her very first bike, a 2023 Honda Grom. My first video on this channel. So, yeah, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it and get out there and ride your Grom. And it's about to rain here. I better start making some more videos because uh, I uh, got the day off. Let's go.